started? Yes. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. We've got our patient. We're going to call you Billy, okay? All right. All right. We've got Billy. He presents today. He's got this cyst-like structure here. It's freely movable. It's kind of spongy feeling. It's about the size of a marble, wouldn't you say? Hey, uh, how long has it been there? About two years. About two years. Okay, and it's never really drained or anything like that, right? Nope. All right. Well, we're going to start with uh, a little anesthetic, and we've got some lidocaine with epinephrine, so let's get some cold spray. We've got Nancy helping us today. Hi, Nancy. Hi. A little cold spray there, please, ma'am. Get a little closer. There you go. There you go. A little stick sting and a burn. You ready? How'd I do? Was I right? You don't even want to talk. Our friend Billy's not a talker today, is he? You don't have to talk. Don't worry. Just gritting my teeth. Is it bad? Is it hurting? <laughs> no, it's just a little pinch. A little sting? Yeah, it's not that bad. We're just taking it slow here. Man, a little more over here. So Gonzo's doing the filming on her uh, her own camera today, right, Gonzo? Oh, y'all? Yeah, because somebody forgot his camera phone at home today. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going to do the scoop technique here, get that cat back on, and we're going to drop that off into the bin. Okay, let's start with, we're going to make a little incision here. You might feel some pressure, but hopefully you won't feel any pain, okay? All right. Good. Yeah. I get excited for the weirdest thing. Mm. I'm going to tell you right now that what I'm seeing here is a sebaceous cyst, okay? Alright. So it's full of um, a cheesy kind of oily stuff that's dried, okay? So what you had was you had a plugged oil gland at some point in the past, and it just sort of continued to collect oil, okay? Oh, right. Yeah. So when you see this video, you'll be interested to see what it looks like. I never want to see what that looks like. You never want to <laughs> You know that's not required either. You, know, you really don't have to. It kind of looks like we're removing an eyeball right now. Yeah, I definitely don't need to see that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't. You don't. What do you think, Gonzo? Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing comes out in one end block, so to speak. We'll try not to break that open, boy. That would be great. That this could be almost awesome. be a souvenir, you know. <laughs> be like uh, going to a baseball game, getting a foul ball, you know. That looks like it. It kind of does. I'd rather you not because that's X file stuff right there. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We uh, we're not gonna do anything like that. We're just kind of talking quietly amongst ourselves here about things that we uh, find fascinating. When you deal with the same old things kind of every day, and you see something really interesting like what you've got here, well, we just celebrate the moment. You feeling any pain? Nope. And you're doing fantastic. I think this is about to come on out. Mm -hmm. It does. Sometimes when they break open, this one's got some odor to it. I but it's smell it. well, most it, you know, hopefully it's not gonna. I don't want to squeeze too hard on it, so I'm trying to grab it from the edge, so that it doesn't break open. That's so crazy. I know. <laughs> there we go. I got a good I got a good grip on it now. He said just as it fell off. <laughs> All right, Gonzo, behave. I'm not doing nothing. You, sir, just gave birth to a beautiful sebaceous cyst. Look at that. Ooh. That's just marvelous. That's a thing of beauty. That's so crazy. Okay. Come back. We're going to make sure you don't have anything else in there. And you do not. That's all nice and clean. So we're going to throw a few stitches in here and you're going to be done, okay? Yeah. And then I can become a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, easy. Anybody can do it. 
But then, didn't you get your certification at the flea market? I'm just kidding. Flea, flea market. Yeah, thanks a lot. No problem. As we're stitching up the patient. Right. <laughs> oh, is the needle gone in? <laughs> oh, we're almost done. <laughs> we're actually finished. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, little stitch there. <laughs> See, apparently, apparently, it didn't hurt a whole lot. All I right. Didn't feel a thing. You didn't feel a thing. Excellent. That's awesome. Look at there, nice little, uh, nice little one. Okay, what we're gonna do for you, we're gonna put a little ointment on that, okay, and uh, put a dressing on it. And basically, uh, in a couple of days, you can take the dressing off. It can get wet when you shower. Just don't scrub right on that area, okay? All right. And in about a week, you come back in. We'll take those stitches out for you. Okay. All right. Good job. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. Hey, folks. Are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta Seven. Meta 7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and can use a nice boost, then try Meta 7 today. I can think better and um, Good. all around this helped me out. Do you feel shaky, jittery, or anything like no, that? No, not at all. Fantastic. It made me feel much better physically and uh, actually mentally. Ever since I started taking it, I have energy throughout the day. I have no problem making it through my runs. Energy all night. I'm in a good mood. Check out the Amazon links in the description below. And you can order today with Amazon Prime.